took him up and showed him the promised land. Showed him everything. We live in a dream if we really think everything's all right, yeah. He took him up and showed him the promised land. Crying out to be free. We gotta shed some light. They say, Lord, I know you with me. Let's walk by faith and not by sight. I spoke about TV ministry. I told you that uh, it's not a matter of boasting. It's just that God opened some doors, and the doors open for us to be nationwide, na national at this here time. And in the future, we will go worldwide. And it's just a matter of, uh, of uh, that faith. And you always, you, I've, I've said in the beginning, uh, Jabez pray and enlarge our territory. We was in that book for two years. Little become much when you place it in the master's hands. My message today is small steps to great destiny. Small steps to great destiny. And where God have moved this ministry to, we're just not ministering to who's inside the building. We're going to be ministering to a nation. And it's going to constantly grow from there. I need your prayers. My message today is Joshua, the first chapter and the first verse. And what it's simply saying is the small steps to great destiny. Moses have died at this time. And Joshua had already been prayed over to take over the children of Israel and take them out of the wilderness. And here is Joshua being commissioned by God to get ready to go forth and do the will of God. Amen. Small steps to great destiny. Everybody want to come when they don't know what it took to get there. They come after you have seemed to made it to the top. But I can tell you by faith, God will always be with you. If you're willing to walk by faith and not by sight, you'll see great destiny come before come you. God is you telling us that at full deliverance, you're going to be able to minister to over 15 million people and more people to come. And all you got to do is keep walking by faith and not by sight. When That's God is saying that I'm with you, no matter who stand up before you, they will not be able to defeat you. I'm not going to leave you. I'm right here now. If, if I was with Moses and I brought Moses, I, I'm going to bring you out too. And what that tells me as a believer, no matter what I'm going through, he's walking with me. He ain't forsake me for the buzzers and everybody else to come down and take me away. He said, Pastor Hickson, I'm with you on this vision. I've been with you when I ordained it from your mother's birth. I've been with you. And not only that, you have been predestinated to bring my people out of a condition. One songwriter said he reached way down and picked you up. And if he reached way down and picked you up, learn how to follow process in order so you could be successful. Sit in the ministry long enough so you could get some word on the inside of you. Didn't sit in the ministry long enough so you can understand what God is doing into you and what God is pouring into you. If the ministry brought you out of somewhere, just say, Lord, I'm going to trust you where we're going right now. 